What's going on guys? Hope you're all doing freakishly good. And you know, I wanna in this video go through a little bit on how I think you should, uh, or who I think you should follow on Twitter. Uh, I think that Twitter is the best platform for following machine learning research. Uh, it's a lot better than LinkedIn, I would say. Uh, although LinkedIn is okay, but there's a lot of just garbage on there. And yeah, like the, the real machine learning community, I would say, is on Twitter. Uh, but there are people that, uh, you know, most people use both. So first of all, you should follow me. Um, uh, I have one follower. My uh, my Twitter account actually got hacked. Uh, and uh, like the Twitter support hasn't responded still. Uh, and so I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll just create a new account. And uh, my goal is to start, start growing on here as well. Uh, so basically though. Uh, I've taken like 30 accounts that I think you should follow. So these are, in my opinion, uh, the best accounts for Twitter. So there's also, so first of all, uh, there are two tabs here um, when, when you use Twitter. There's for you, which is like personalized, but then there's following. And the following one is uh, in time order. So I usually use this one. And then there is a setting... Uh, somewhere here settings and support and here you can go to privacy and safety and you can go to mute and block muted words then you can take this one suggest activity tweet this one will remove sort of uh yeah just uh suggested tweets and so on uh so th i i use this one to clear uh to clean up the feed a little bit you can do that it's not too important though but anyways so here are the accounts that I think you should follow. First of all, uh, I follow NeuroIPS conference. Uh, just uh, follow the conferences to get uh, what papers are released and so on. Uh, Google DeepMind, uh, you know, and Demis uh, Has Hasavis. I don't know how to pronounce that, but, you know, the CEO of DeepMind. Peter Abiel, uh, you know, has a podcast as well uh, that on, what is it called? Uh, Robots and Brains, I think. The Robot Brains podcast, and uh, yeah, he's a great teacher as well, and he's had a lot of different courses, shares general useful stuff. Uh, and here are some other ones as well. Uh, Co-founder of Hugging Face, Thomas Wolf. I'll make a list of all this, and I'll share my uh, Twitter as well on who I think sort of these are. I think the best people, but there are probably lots of people I missed. Uh, let me know what other people you think should be added for a more complete list. But uh, yeah, so Google AI, uh, you know, these are people that are very active as well, mostly on Twitter. Uh, Joffrey Hinton, of course. Uh, Tim shares a lot on sort of usefulness of different hardware when it comes to deep learning and also how to optimize le uh, large language models and so on. Lillian Wang is a research scientist at OpenAI, and she has a great blog as well that is uh, a lot sort of a really technical blog compared to many others uh, and more focus on the mathematical side which uh, is nice sometimes and uh, she's quite active as well uh, on sharing what her blogs are and so on and then meta uh, you know for releases and so on uh, PyTorch of course Hugging Face um, yeah some of these I have not been following for very long but I know are very popular uh, so he's a co-founder of OpenAI and, uh, yeah, Yannick, of course, uh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce Aaron Komat Suzaki. He's, uh, he really, you know, he's really great at, uh, sharing what papers, uh, have been released. Uh, so you get an idea and you can, uh, go into it further. So, you know, he basically just shares the, like the title and the most important figure of it and, uh, yeah, then you can sort of check it out. And yeah, it's a, just a great way to uh, get insight of just to know about what came out recently. Ilya Sutskever, uh, you know, the, uh, at OpenAI, he shares a lot of also um, sort of insights and uh, his internal sort of more deeper philosophical perspectives as well on AI and sort of the direction we're going. Jeremy Howard, uh, who is a great teacher, you know, fast AI creator, and yeah, has a lot of insight as well. 
uh, Sumit Chintala, who is the, you know, he created, he's the founder of, as well as a lot of other people, but was one of the leading ones with PyTorch. And yeah, he's uh, interesting to read. He also shares his thoughts on, you know, many of different things going on in deep learning and AI, sort of what um, articles coming out, leaked documents, like from Google recently, shares his thoughts on it. And, and uh, that's uh, really nice to get. Sebastian uh, Rashka, who is at Lightning AI, but he is a professor in machine learning. He's at you know a YouTube channel as well. Great courses on there, and uh, has a Lightning course now, I think. And generally shares a lot of different, really uh, useful stuff. So definitely follow him. AK is uh, basically he's a fucking machine. Like he all he does is uh, read papers and uh, he shares it to people. Uh, and yeah, like he. Uh, I have no idea how he keeps up with the like in the way that he does. So this guy is an absolute machine. <laughs> Follow him for interesting uh, papers. Uh, there's no way to keep up with that, but you get an idea. Uh, Hard Maru is uh, actually I don't know exactly who he worked at the Google research scientist at Google Brain. Uh, all I know is he's really uh, he shares a lot of interesting ideas and uh, yeah, he also does these a lot with. Stable Diffusion and Dolly, and I don't know exactly why he does that, but it's, uh, yeah, some memes as well, which is nice. Of course, Jan LeCun. Jan LeCun is, to me, one of the most important people to follow. Uh, I really enjoy how he is sort of, he is going against, he's okay going against people's sort of the mass perception and going against the masses where if he believes that it's correct and he, he, he dares to be controversial, uh, if it leads to sort of, it will, if it will lead to some type of in, innovation or like new ideas coming out of it. So I really like that fact that he's not trying to be politically correct. He shares his thoughts, he shares his genuine ideas, and he is always true to who he is as a person. And then you can agree or disagree on his personal opinions but generally i mean this guy is uh yeah he's a, he's one of the guys to follow for sure open ai of course uh sam Altman, ceo of open ai andrew Ng, uh you know legendary no words needed and then andre karpathy uh yeah so this list was not in order andre karpathy of course is number one then everybody else so this that that's the uh <laughs> the idea there and uh yeah so those are 30 people i think you should follow uh, they will, you know, really give you a great idea of things going on. Just scrolling here, 55 minutes ago, Thomas Wolf. So this week we finally released StarCoder. Awesome. You know, open source uh, model on code generation. Uh, and uh, yeah, like performs better than uh, CodeGen. Now CodeGen 2 has been released as well. But uh, yeah, this is interesting. Um yeah, I don't know. Like you just, just like scroll here a little bit, and you will get interesting things that have came out. Okay, let's see. So here, uh, Andre posted some tips on why LLMs ecosystem has been blowing up. Uh, it's like Laura fine tuning LLMs is very cheap. Uh, yeah, and then Tim super excited to push this even further. Next week, bits and bytes, a four bit closed beta that allows you to fine tune thirty billion. Lab models on a single GPU. Uh, this is this is like how you should probably get your be able to follow machine learning. Uh, if I go to LinkedIn, all right, and uh, yeah, like if I just go here and scroll a little bit, it's just full of. I don't know if it's just my feed, but I mean, there's so much that's not relevant. It's uh not, it's not. It's a lot of just mess. It's just not good. Like here, it's not even in English. Like how do, uh, I don't want to follow that guy, you know? Maybe I should clean up my feed. Maybe that's why it's bad. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. But, you know, Twitter, clean, crisp, good. Uh, people on there are amazing. And uh, yeah, I like it. All right, let me know who did I miss? Who should we add? And maybe I'll make a future follow-up on how to use Twitter even better to follow machine learning research and uh yeah all right
see you in the next video guys